Hey everybody, welcome to Greybeard's Jewels. Today we bring you five urban legends from Brazil. Number one, the Curupira, aka the Forest Guardian. The Curupira is a red or flame-haired guardian of the forest that has varying appearances throughout the land. Whether dwarf-like or giant, one feature remains the same, his backward-facing feet. Not only is it a most interesting feature, but it also comes in quite handy as it makes tracking him down extremely difficult since his trail seemingly begins where it actually ends. Although they can be extremely dangerous, emitting an otherworldly whistling noise that can leave you disoriented or driven to madness, they aren't generally hostile beings. They live mainly in the Amazon rainforest, protecting it and the animals that call it home against glacier hunters and poachers. If you really want to get on their bad side, the worst thing a person could do is kill a mother with offspring. The Kurupira will turn the offending hunter's arrow right back at them, killing them instead. Or they could choose to lead the hunter into an unfamiliar part of the forest and leave them there, forever lost. And if he was feeling especially feisty, he might decide to turn the hunter's family into animals that then would be hunted and killed, leaving the hunter all by himself with no family. So if you ever find yourself wandering about a Brazilian rainforest and you think the Curupira might be playing tricks on you, you might want to grab some vines and start tying knots in them. You might be wondering who has time for that at a time like this, but if you leave them on the ground where you're traveling, they just can't fight their nature and will feel compelled to untie all the knots you made, keeping them occupied long enough for you to make a quick getaway. Number 2. The Headless Mule, A Curse From God it is said that the legend of the headless mule is deeply rooted in Catholic belief, and it all started because a priest who had vowed celibacy was having relations with a woman. As a result, God was of course displeased, and so he cursed the woman to become the headless mule, with fire coming out of her neck and, in some variations, the tail as well. She would transform into the fiery-headed beast and rampage her way through town, destroying everything and everyone in her path. The same fate would be bestowed upon any woman who sinned in this matter, always transforming on Thursday nights to wreak havoc on the city and its inhabitants, then returning to her body Friday mornings, naked and confused, not remembering a thing, just feeling intense pain throughout her entire body. There are only two ways to break the curse of the headless mule. You either must get some blood out of her or remove her red-hot reins. Not an easy task considering the inferno spewing from her neck. If you do accomplish this feat, take the woman to a church so a priest can curse her seven times this way and she won't turn back into the headless mule again. Number 3. Kuka, the Old Witch The Kuka is a hag that lives in a cave making all sorts of spells in her cauldron. She's a part human, part crocodile-like woman with an extremely high, shrill voice. Her weapon a choice to stun little kids who misbehave or won't go to sleep on time. She will then kidnap them and eat them up later. In doing so, she absorbs their vital energy so she can extend her own life. She can get in from anywhere. It's like she just appears. She even gets parents to sing a dark and eerie lullaby to their babies. I'll save your ears and just tell you what it says. Sleep, little baby. Kuka is coming to get you. Daddy went to the fields and Mommy went to her job. Not the kind of rhyme I'd like to hear if I was trying to fall asleep. But hey, the Kuka will live on forever. Before we go any further, just a quick reminder to like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on notifications. It's free to do and it really helps our channel out. Thank you. Number 4. Corpo Seco, or the Dry Body. From the interior of Sao Paulo, Minas Gerais, and the Midwest region comes the legend of Corpo Seco. Relatively recent compared to most legends, this one started in the mid 20th century. In life, Corpo Seco was so selfish, cruel, and downright mean to every person he would meet 
that one day he was killed by a vigilante and buried in the local cemetery. He was so vile and evil in life that neither God nor the devil wanted his soul. Now that's bad. After being rejected by both God and the devil, his soul was sent back among the living realm. And guess what? The earth didn't want it either. So she spit his body out of the grave over and over again. He started to haunt the area, seeking vengeance. Corpo Seco is kinda like a zombie, but without the brains part. And it's said he stays up in the tops of trees and comes down around 8pm in search of his next victim. Or if he's lucky, victims. So if you're out walking the road or path and it's around 8pm and you hear something in the trees, it might just be the Corpo Seco coming for you. Number 5. The Kaipura, or Inhabitant of the Forest The Kaipura are beings of Tupi-Guarani lore in Brazil similar to the Curupira in that they are protectors of the forest and its inhabitants. It appears as a small, dark-skinned Native American that's naked and has a red mane. Whether male or female, it's usually smoking a cigar, and some say it rides a great peccary and carries a stick. In some regions, they are known to be very mischievous and are said to scare away prey and hide the animal's tracks. Or if the hunters are taking more than what is necessary or using unethical hunting practices, they may even disorient the hunters by making animal noises and fake tracks, causing them to lose their way in the jungle. In some areas, the indigenous tribes are quite wary of the creature and believe the Kaipura is afraid of light, so they would protect themselves by carrying a piece of burning wood when walking in the forest. According to popular belief, the creature is very active on days in which hunting is not supposed to take place. So, Fridays, Sundays, and some religious days, you should probably be on your best behavior. But there are claims you can trick or bribe the protector of the forest. It's well known that the Kaipura loves tobacco, so on Thursday nights, the hunters would leave a cigar or other form of smoke by the trunk of a tree and recite Toma Kaipura Daisha I Ir Imbora, which basically means, Here you go, Kaipura, let me go on my way, in Portuguese. These offerings to the creature are also said to ensure the good luck of the hunters, so don't forget to leave a gift to the Kaipura, or he might go after you next. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you next time on Greybeard's Jewels.